water quality. Here in Alberta, many of us take our water quality for granted, but the quality of surface water varies greatly throughout the province. Surface water quality is affected by vegetation, topography and climate, but also by human activities. Manure, fertilizers, sewage, pesticides, pharmaceuticals and sediment all affect water quality. Water quality is important because it can affect the health of all living organisms, including humans. One aspect of water quality that is influential to aquatic ecosystems is the level of nitrogen and phosphorus. Nitrogen is important to living things because it is needed to make proteins and synthesize DNA. Although 78.1% of the atmosphere is made up of nitrogen gas, most organisms cannot use nitrogen in this form. The nitrogen cycle converts atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates. Nitrogen in the atmosphere can be converted to nitrates by lightning, which causes oxygen to react with nitrogen gas. The nitrates dissolve in the rainwater and are absorbed into the soil. Nitrogen fixing bacteria found in the soil or in the root nodules of legumes can also convert nitrogen gas into nitrates. Excess nitrate from these bacteria moves into the soil. Nitrates are taken up by plants to make DNA and amino acids. Animals eat the plants. Excretion, death and decomposition returns nitrogen to the soil. Bacteria in the soil convert nitrogen containing compounds back into nitrates. Denitrifying bacteria take the nitrates and convert it back into nitrogen gas, returning it back to the atmosphere. Farmers add nitrogen to soil through fertilizer use. Runoff from fields carries excess fertilizer into water bodies. Phosphorus is important to living things because it makes up DNA, ATP, and cell membranes. And it's a major component of bones and teeth. The phosphorus cycle acts to maintain a relatively stable amount of phosphorus in the soil and water. Phosphate is a combination of phosphorus and oxygen atoms. It's stored in the soil and water. Phosphorus, unlike other biogeochemical cycles, does not cycle through the atmosphere. Plants absorb phosphate from soil and water. Animals acquire phosphate when they eat plants. Animals excrete phosphate and the phosphate returns to soil and water. The cycling of phosphate between plants and animals is the short-term cycle. The long-term part of the cycle involves phosphate and water bodies forming phosphate rock over millions of years. Geologic uplift brings the rocks to the surface. Phosphates erode from the rocks and enter oceans where they can be absorbed by algae and other plants. Marine animals use the phosphate for bones and shells. When they die, these become rock. Humans mine phosphate rock to make fertilizer. Phosphate fertilizer improves the growth of plants and is commonly applied to crops, golf courses and lawns. Farm animals eat crops and excrete phosphate in manure. Increased phosphate and nitrate allow algae and other weeds to grow quickly. When the algae die, they decompose. The decomposition process lowers the amount of oxygen in the water. This process, called eutrophication, can kill fish and other aquatic life. Excess nitrates in drinking water is also dangerous to animals as the nitrates can attach to hemoglobin, reducing the oxygen carrying capacity of this molecule in the blood. The Alberta government now has a water for life strategy that includes water quality monitoring throughout the province. How can Alberta continue to grow and prosper without a negative impact on water quality? Use Alberta Tomorrow to see how the runoff of phosphorus may have been impacted by land use in the past and what the effects of a change in land use could be to water quality in the future.